Hello, this is Julie from CutterCrafter.com. This week I made a gift for a wedding that I'm attending tomorrow, and it's a vinyl sp split monogram font that I've customized with the family's name and their wedding date. I cut it out of vinyl and I put it on this 12 inch ceramic tile, and I posted some instructions on how you can do a similar project with custom names and dates or whatever you like. I've posted the free Regal Split Monogram True Type font on my blog at cuttercrafter.com in the library and you can download it there and then you can use it in your cutter software. I'm going to show you how to use it with a Silhouette Studio, the most recent version of the software, so that you know how to use this particular font. First you have to download the font. It's zipped up and then you unzip it. Then you click on it and install it in your system's font folder. Then all you need to do is click on the text icon in your software and select the font once it's installed. So you may have to close your software then open it again to see it in the list if you've just installed it, but I'm going to go down to Regal Split Monogram font to select it. It's in the R's. There it is. Regal Split Monogram and you can see it's selected on the right side. Click my mouse and then type the capital letter of the, the monogram you wish to use. I'm going to use a capital F and there it appears on my screen. So then I'm going to resize it to about 10 inches. You can see the sizing right down at the bottom. When it gets to 10 inches I'll stop dragging the corner. Doesn't matter um, what size you make it. You can make it to fit any size tile that you happen to have or even if it's a different kind of project you can use the, these split monogram fonts for many different types of projects. So once you have it about the right size you can click away from it. And the next font that we're going to use, we'll click the A and I'm going to pick a font that has a shape similar to the shape of this main letter that I'm using. So I'm going to use a font named Caslon, and you can use whatever you have on your computer that works for you. This would be under the C's. And it doesn't even have to look like this letter. You can use a favorite font if you like. There it is. So I'm going to use Caslon BDBT. And it shows up over here. So I'll click my mouse and type in what I'd like. And I found after I made my first project that it's easier to do this if I use capital letters. So I'm going to type in my name, Flanagan Family. I don't need it to be switching to two lines. I need it all on one line. Okay, so I've got that there. And then I'm going to use the same font down here to write some more text, which will be EST established and the date. June 2nd, 1973. This can be for an anniversary gift. And so then I'm going to resize this a little bit, dragging the corner down so that it's just tall enough to overlap. top of that space and 
drag it in a bit till the last letter lines up with the edge of that bar. Then I'm going to drag it down so the bottom of the letters just barely overlap the bottom bar in the design. And once I have them lined up the way I want them, then I, I probably will make this one, the text at the bottom, also maybe a little taller. You can resize, reposition as you like. Put in the text you like. That's the nice thing about a custom get, gift design. You can kind of make it your own. I think I'll hold the shift key and click both of these and see if I can align these. And that didn't work, so we just undo it. Um, I just want to make sure that they're centered. And once they are centered over each other, I can select all, and then I'm going to weld them all together. And they will be ready to cut. I do sometimes like to save it before I weld so that I can grab it and use um, this letter again without the name in it if I ever want to use F again. So to weld, I right click and click on weld and everything gets all welded together, welded together and all the pieces of the design are also now converted to an, um, cutting lines instead of fonts. And then if I want to see how this looks, might look when I fill it with vinyl, I can click on that color palette and do the fill color of black. Click on the lines here and make the lines black. Now I can see better what the overall design is going to look like. And then I can save it. I can cut to my Cameo and follow the directions in my blog post on how to uh, assemble the project. And it's as easy as that. So I hope you will try one of these custom gift ideas and share it with everybody. So thank you for watching. Bye.